going to show you a couple of things that I'm adapting or just outright copying from the February 2011 issue of Runner's World. And the article was by a woman whose last name was Butler. Um, so my favorite one, or most of the ones I'm going to show you, involve using a medicine ball or a weight ball. And I just happen to have one. I mean, I had one. I didn't go out and get one after I saw this magazine. Um, and it weighs, it says, eight to nine pounds. So this is heavy for me for these three things I'm going to show you. Um, even though I prefer heavy weights, low reps, I can only do about four um, with this ball. And I generally don't start um, if I can't do six and I go up to ten over time. So this is heavy. I would get, I would start with maybe a four pound one. My very favorite one works that they have in the magazine works your abs. So <clears throat> you take the ball in front of you, take it to your right, and when you pull back in, you lift your left leg. So you go out and in. So you're kind of turning and then um, clenching your stomach when you lift your leg and pull the ball in. So it feels like a crunch and it would work on the side of your um, <clears throat> abdominals. So you do the same thing, left, pull into your right leg. Left, pull into your right leg. Um, I don't know if I should say this, this way. Okay, and there's a couple of other things with the ball, but I'll put it down for a minute. Um, <clears throat> another one that works your core is just to walk across the room, or if you're outside um, taking a walk, it's what I refer to as high knee, um, marching in slow motion. So pull up and up, and you do use your arms and pull up. The point with, you know, I've shown you this one before, and sitting on the ball and lifting your leg, the point with these is to go slow. If you go fast, you're not engaging your core. So it isn't this kind of march, but the slow, I have to hesitate here, I have to hesitate, and that means everything um, around here has to stabilize you. And that's the important thing. That's what prevents falls as we get older, is having good stability and balance. So just marching across the room or the parking lot very, very slowly. Or if you're out running, you can end with um, skips. And I do that sometimes when I feel like I'm five, and it's crazy. Okay, so the other things with the ball work your shoulders. Um, the first is to start with the ball to your right and you kind of lean down and then up. So you're squatting and then up. And the other one is around big circles that also include a squat. So you start with the ball over your head, you take it to the right, and as it gets to the floor, you're in a squat position and then you come back up. And you do a few circles like that and then a few in the other direction. And I will demonstrate, but I can't do many because I said, the ball's heavy. <sighs> Okay, so the first one is squat and then lift up. Squat and lift up. So I'm taking it from one side to the other. This is my right knee, my left shoulder. Right knee, left shoulder. And see how I'm just pulling everything up. Um, and then the other one is around the world. Let's see, I'll start this way. Over my head and squat. I'm doing it this way. So hopefully, my knees are not going over my toes in a correct squat. <sighs> okay, so I did my cardio first, and that's why I'm a little out of breath and tired. Um, I think that was all I wanted to show you. Um, but like I said, my favorite one is this ab one with the ball. And you can try all of those, and you don't have to get down on the floor and back up. I know some people like to do stability work that doesn't involve getting on the floor.